Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Tonight we're going to be recreating this look right here. I'm going to do my best and yes, my nails have all popped off, but it's a story for a different day. So without further ado, let's get on in. So it has been so hectic with with the holidays recently just a lot going on a lot of travel coming up stress work things like that so my skin this week's been a little been a little off but we're gonna use the well this we're gonna use what I just used is the Farsali this is the rose gold skin mist with yes real gold flakes in there You'll see Gus running around in the background. He has the cutest little sweater on. One of my coworkers got him a sweater. We did Secret Santa and he wasn't sure on what to get me. So he went with the safe option, which is getting something for my dog, which if you get anything for the dog or cats, I'm very much okay with that. So if you are new here, I am Bex and I have two channels here on YouTube. One is for video gaming and the other is here where you are right now, which is all things of beauty, makeup, skincare, you name it, I'm into it. So I am happy that you are here. I hope that you give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you do like this video, leave a comment. It helps let me know what kind of videos you guys are looking for and that way I can tailor my content just for you guys. So we are going to be doing a look, well recreating that look with the blood sugar palette. I know a lot of people come for me because of Jeffree Star and his controversial past. However, I am a Christian and I believe in letting things go, moving forward, especially when people apologize and not holding grudges because that's not my responsibility. So of course, if you are an OG here, you know we're going to be going in with the P. Louise base and we are using shade Rumor 0.5. I'm going to be filming soon with a new camera for you guys, which will make me very happy because mama knows that I need a new camera and I need some good lighting up in here. So if you are new here, I use the P. Louise base. It was the first product I ever used from P. Louise. I was introduced to her products by a beauty YouTuber. I can't remember who it was. It's been so long. I've been using the P. Louise base before as long as I can remember. I did used to use the MAC Paint Pot. And I know Laura Lee is the one who turned me on to that one, that particular product. But I felt like it dried out really quickly. And I try to get as close to my lash line as possible. And then I always go in with a super fluffy brush. So we're gonna be using this color here, Sugar Cane. Do any of you have Apple products and especially the watch, for some reason she always thinks that you're talking to her and you're really not. I have that problem all the time. So I'm recreating this look because I think this is a look that I'm going to do for Valentine's Day this year. I haven't decided. The kids will be with their mother in Alabama. So it will be us for Valentine's Day this year. We've not really had the opportunity to celebrate Valentine's Day in a romantic way 
last year was just a little chaotic after coming back from our trip to Mexico. So I'm hoping this year that we'll get to celebrate as long as Josh isn't busy with work. He is in the Marine Corps and because they are getting ready to deploy, he is always busy with with work and doing exercises and things like that because of the preparing, the preparation, I should say, the preparation for deployment. Do you guys celebrate Valentine's Day? Do you guys have any traditions that you do? In school, we actually used to take shoe boxes and make little mailboxes and you would put it on your desk on Valentine's Day and everybody in the class would drop off their Valentine's and put it in your little shoe box mailbox. It was definitely my favorite. <laughs> Just something so silly and so simple that I loved, but I remember even 30-ish years later. Now I am looking a little at my brows because I do have some areas that I want, I do have some areas that I do want to fill in and I need to sharpen it a little bit because I'm not very good at that. I always forget. So for me, I like to just comb them down just a little bit so I can see where it is that I need the, the filling in and I can see the outline a little bit better of my eyebrows. And then just some hairline strokes this way. Always take the spoolie and kind of diffuse it. Brows have never been my strong point. I always, always, always envied the way Laura Lee does her brows. She was always brow goals for me. Somehow I always feel like I'm making them just one, one solid shade. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, I did my unboxing of the P. Louise advent calendar. I got some items in there that I have put together in a giveaway and once I hit 500 subscribers I will be giving away three amazing products out of that and I would love if you entered my giveaway so there will be a video that I, I think I can pin it hopefully I can pin it and it outlines all the instructions on how to enter on how to enter the giveaway, what to do, what not. And I'm really excited and I can't wait to see who wins this giveaway. All right, so for this look, it looks like we're going to need a deeper red shade. So I'm gonna go in with Cherry Soda and we're going to use the P. Louise. This is the eye brush number E. 35. We're going to go with cherry soda. I'm going to put it right in that crease. If we were doing anything big for New Year's, I definitely think this would be a really pretty look for for New Year's. And I'm hoping that I can pull off this recreation. Found it on Pinterest. I don't know exactly who to give credit to. As you know, on Pinterest, people pin, repin, save, all that jazz. Looks. 
so you never know who exactly is the original. And now we don't have to be exactly accurate with this, it's just more of pushing the color in because we will be using a different brush to blend it out. So we, go, we are going to be using the color Tongue Pop next. And we're gonna go in with the P. Louise, this fluffy brush here, that is the E38. And we're just gonna go a little bit above where that color was and just blend her out. Just want to diffuse this color a little bit kind of give a really pretty ombre effect just like that what are some things with the new year that you are excited excited about? What are you excited to try? Are you traveling anywhere? New products that are launching that you're excited about? Are you buying a house? Or are you selling a house? What do you guys have going on? earlier the small denser one and we're gonna go in with the shade you know my favorite intravenous and we're just gonna push that really into the crease and then bringing it down here in that V so we can get a nice lift going on Is what we are doing do not fret do not worry we're gonna go in with a little bit of a much fluffier brush the Jeffree Star Morphe collab JS6 so this these brushes are so dirty we're gonna go in with the color cake mix and just diffuse really nice deep color same on the other side Actually, this is probably gonna need a little bit more intravenous I see now I did not drop as much as I needed gold chunky flakes. All right, I'm gonna go back in with that flat brush that we used to push around the base. And we're gonna go in with the NYX Glitter, Glitter Primer. You might hear a cat cleaning themselves in the background. That is Nugget, she's hanging out behind my monitors and She's cleaning herself. Apparently it is bath time here while we are filming. Now I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but I do have a lot of other socials. I would love it if we stayed connected. All of my socials are listed in the description 
this video. All right, let's see how this will work out. I'm just taking my finger and I'm pushing it in. Oh, this is perfect. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. So the one thing I am going to go back in with though, with a fluffier brush, is I'm going to go in with... With a shade from this palette, actually. I like the shade Calabasa, so I'm going to go in with, with that just to kind of seamlessly blend. more glitter I'm like trying to figure out how to maneuver my finger all right let's do some cleanup again same brush same shade of calabasas important to be very careful when wiping it especially around your eye because glitter is like glass in your eye if you really get it in your eye and I definitely think this is a pretty look let's take the spoolie and spoolie out our lashes fluffy brush but we're gonna go in with Mr. Diva from the Morphe X Jeffree Star Power. Just kind of like give her a lash line, a little color. And then going in with that smaller brush we're gonna go in with Calabasas right on our lash line. And then we're gonna take that brush that we used for Mr. Diva and just marry them together. So it looks like this. <laughs> I definitely do love this look. It was pretty easy so far to recreate. what usually is a lip liner brush. I want to go in just a little bit with the color Welcome. Just a little bit underneath the brow bone. Oh yes, honey. 
honey. All right. I feel like the more I'm like trying to get <laughs> trying to get the glitter off, the more glitter there is. Which hopefully when we put on foundation, it will go away. <laughs> If not, this will be very interesting. I'm going to be trying out a primer that I've had for a while now. It's from Tarte. It is the BB Tinted Treatment Primer with sunscreen in it. Now, I'm not really understanding the point of it being a primer, but it's a tinted treatment. So, I've never tried it before, so this is gonna be experiment for all of us. Ooh. Ugh. That was a lot. Ugh. And it feels very silicone-y. And I don't like silicone bases anymore because they just... They're not my favorite. They feel very... slippy on my skin. And I don't feel like anything sticks to it. I feel like everything just kind of whoop off my face when I have it on. I used to be ride or die back in 2016, 2017 for Tarte. I have to use my fingers. Ugh, the way this is. Yeah! Yeah, I used to be ride or die for Tarte. And their products just, I don't know, they became really boring to me. And the products just weren't innovative. They tried to be. But for what they were, they were so overpriced. And I feel like a lot of influencers hyped them up more than what they really, they really were. fell out of love with Tarte. I felt like a lot of their eyeshadows too were very just chalky and they weren't original. So let's let that settle in. She has a very basic uh, skin, skin look going on but her skin looks beautiful and flawless. So to use up the rest of this foundation, we're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, the Flawless Filter. Try to use all of this bad boy up. Hopefully we do not run out in the middle of this video. <laughs> scary guys
tell how I feel about this primer underneath this foundation. I think until I fully get it all on, I'll be able to get my full, my full thoughts. still have a dewy look and glow so that's good however because it's that silicone ugh, this foundation is just sitting on top of my skin like like the sun could look at me wrong and I feel like my makeup would just melt off right now Like I just have, I don't know, almost like a rubbery ugh, look to my skin. Let's see how I feel after I set. So going in with the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh, which I'm not going to know what I'm going to do with myself after I run out of this stuff because it is definitely a favorite of mine. Can get up and close up and close in your business and you guys can see how it's starting to separate and bringing out the texture more this is why I never understood why silicone primers are like oh they're pore fillers all right now going in with bronzer with the Laguna just warming up the face here buttons as she lays on it. It's a cute little, little thing. Well, it does show up, so. Okay, there we go. Just something subtle. Blend it around here. Now using the mascara from Wonder Beauty, the Mile High Club. I have to wash my brushes after this tonight. All right, now, last but not least, we're gonna need some highlighter, which I'm gonna use my finger for. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced. This is the Fancy Pink Diamond, which I've had this forever, but 
definitely a ride or die for me. And she definitely got her cute little nose, which I always love doing my nose. Like especially just that little button. The little button on your nose. There it goes. Maybe I need a brush for this. So now we need to do lip liner. We're gonna go in with Mac Shade Whirl. red color. Ugh, I'm a little scared. This is Heart Rate from Jeffree Star. So let's see what this looks like. gonna go do my hair put on a cute sweater and come back and we'll do final thoughts on this look all right guys so I am back and I've got a pretty sweater on that I think kind of complements this whole look and it's probably something that I would wear doing this makeup well not while doing this makeup but you know well going out the I do like and I'm just looking in the monitors making sure you guys can see what I see I do I do like this makeup look. The only thing I did notice, I did take a break and I went and cleaned my brushes before I forget. So that way the next video I'm ready to go. The only thing I I don't really like and I have to figure out a way to get rid of it is just the glitter. Just some of the glitter little specks of it. So just trying to figure out a way to easily wipe that glitter off so that there's not excess glitter. Just You can kind of see it under just a speck here and there. So. That would be something I would want to figure out. I do, however, like the way it it looks and it turned out. I definitely think I might I might I might use this for a date night because it's very it's very beautiful and it was very easy to do. And I'm I'm really a fan. I'm not a fan of that primer, so I don't know what I did with it, but it's definitely going in the garbage. Yeah, not a fan of that. However, I I also think it made me look a lot paler than what I really am, so no thank you. Mm -mm, goodbye. I, I don't, I'm gonna have to find maybe a better red that suits my skin tone. I don't think this red goes with the look that I'm going for and I do think she has more of a silver gold. Oh, my cowboy's lost. Huh. Lost to the bills of all people. 
I think it's silver, and I think maybe that's one thing that just is different about my look versus hers. But what do you think? Did I nail it? Did... Do you think this look good? is good on me? Do you think that you'll try it? Leave comments below. And guys, the more comments that you leave and opinions, I'm going to put out content that you actually want to see. But if I have no direction, I'm just going to do what fancies me. And maybe that's not something that you like. So I would love it and appreciate it. Just leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Hit that bell icon to be notified each and every time that I post. So thanks for watching.